So, for mom's homeschooling, I had my 14-year-old to read an article that I came across about a guy. He was born without a jaw. And as such, he shared in the article that he uh, encountered a lot of bullying growing up. Uh, one of the things that he mentioned is uh, he had to learn to not put limits on himself. Uh, he had to, he came to the realization that he deserves better. And, and that, I guess, helped him overcome the challenges that he encountered in life. He was left without the ability, because of his condition, left without the ability to eat with his mouth. Also, he was left without the ability to talk. So he uses sign language to communicate, and he has a feeding tube in his neck, and there is also a, an area that in his stomach where food can be placed into his stomach, but he also shared that he has not been able to taste. He has never tasted food. And so one of the lessons that I was hoping to instill in my daughter and even though she acts like she is so disinterested in these mom lessons, I'm hoping that they'll benefit her at some point. If not now, then later on in life, she'll recognize the benefit of it. But just learning compassion through the eyes of someone else and the challenges that they've had to face and overcome. Uh, this guy, he went on, he graduated from school, um, got his degree. He is a welder, and he is now married to a beautiful young lady um, around the age of myself, but, but she's a beautiful woman, and he shared that some people would have never expected him to get married because they, you know, we have a tendency to look at a person's physical condition and then based on what we see, place limits on that person but God. Hello? And so God had another plan that overcame uh, the, the challenges and the obstacles that he faced and any limits that anybody may have placed on him or even limits that he may have placed on himself at some point in time. And one of the things that I pointed out to my daughter as we discussed the article is that it's a lesson in being grateful to God and thankful acknowledging him for our abilities that that he has given us um but also um, not necessarily looking at other people with pity but being able to at least extend compassion and gratitude and it doesn't necessarily mean that our ability that we're more or less blessed than anybody but it does mean that we should not take for granted the abilities that God has given us, whether it be because I never thought of um, tasting being something that, you know, we may take for granted. The only time I haven't been able to taste was when I had a cold. And so, but, you know, we, we have the expectation that the taste will come back. But to think, you know, hmm, what are we like? We never tasted food, you know, and so it's just another opportunity for us to humble ourselves and just be thankful to God for the abilities that he has given us um, without taking it for granted, uh, without going through life thinking that, um, you know, that we've somehow done it on our own. You know, it's by the grace of God. Um, but also, you know, having compassion and love towards others and being able to look beyond their physical condition or the outward appearance and looking to the heart. And that's something that I hope and believe that um, his wife was gifted to do as he shared that they were friends before they, um, you know, they developed a, a good friendship before they started dating and eventually got married. And it was just a blessing to read that article from his perspective. And that's something um, that I wanted for her to do too, just to be able to look, beyond her own perspective and um, through a different lens uh, from the perspective of someone who has had challenges, who has 
encountered bullying and but also I reminded her later on that you know we have to not bully ourselves we have to learn how to not bully ourselves and pick ourselves apart about what we don't like about ourselves or place limits on ourselves um, and so that's just something I decided to share it was on my heart just a few thoughts um, I cannot recall the guy's name right now or the name of the article. <laughs> I believe it was the man born without a jaw finds love. If anyone would like to look it up, it shouldn't be too hard to find. And I um, hope that you will be blessed as well. So we're getting ready to go to this graduation, this eighth grade graduation. So uh, here we go. She ready? She ready? Okay, she ready. Bye.